Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. We were not able to post any video for a very long period of time due to busy work schedule. But finally we are able to travel again in summer vacations and we are going to bring for you very exciting series of videos from Turkey. This is our second trip and I tell you what you need to have multiple trips to Turkey if you really wish to cover its diverse geography. Due to ease in travel restriction, tourism is back in full flow therefore it's a challenge to get visa on time. Usually European countries they are giving 90 days appointment time. Uh, I'm talking about beginning of July. Uh, but for Turkey despite heavy tourism still you can get appointment for a week's time. Getting Turkish visa is simple but a bit expensive I would say. It's around 750 AED per person. Uh, what you need to do is you just need to log in to www.gatewayglobe.com and schedule an appointment. At the date of appointment you need to bring certain documents like your original passport, valid residence permit, photographs, travel documents like flight tickets and hotel reservations and you need to have NOC from your employer, uh, your bank statement, last 3 months bank, bank statement is usually enough and then your uh, evidence of your accommodation in UAE. It was our first experience traveling in Pegasus airline, it's a Turkish budget airline and I would say it was an okay sort of experience as you would imagine with any any budget airline. We have booked a transfer service uh, for 45 euros. It is highly recommended uh, to avoid any scam with taxi drivers. Uh, the airports are outside the mainland it, and it's always better to you know really reach your hotel safe and sound without any hassle after a long flight. Booking is quite easy, you just need to inform your hotel and with your flight details etc and they will book it for you and the drivers will be waiting outside to pick you up. There are a couple of airports in Istanbul. We landed at Sabiha airport which is on the Asian side used by Pegasus Airlines. If you are traveling from Turkish Airlines then you will be landing on the other airport which is on the European side. In terms of distance both are almost same from main city center uh, but there is a lot of traffic flow from Sabiha airport being on the Asian side especially during working hours. It can take up to two hours to reach hotel. There are a couple of ways there are some bridges like famous Bosphorus bridge to cross the sides. Uh, or we can use this ferry option which is used by our driver. You can park your car in the ferry and then you can move around until it reaches the other side. We are staying in Sultan Ahmed Old City area. The hotel prices have almost doubled compared to last year so you really need to book well in advance. After having a bit of rest we are out to try some Turkish delicacies. Faruk Gulioglu is an excellent option. Their sweets and breakfast is amazing. Especially at the terrace with this view of the city. There's a tramway right in front and a beautiful mosque. After having some food we went to Blue Mosque which was nearby at a walking distance. Unfortunately similar to last year it's still under renovation. At least there was some area which was visible. We had to just be content on that. Next to Blue Mosque there is a historical bazaar named Rasta Bazaar. It's a paved market with shops on either side. And it's a must visit place if you are looking for some traditional carpets, uh, rugs or prayer mats. You will also find spices, traditional spices. You will find many shops selling these handmade soaps for skincare. Uh, and of course there are a lot of options if you want to buy some souvenirs. Our last stop for the day was Sulemania Mosque. 
built in 15th century and famous for its beautiful architecture. With this, we leave you here. That's the end of our first day in Istanbul. We'll be back with many exciting videos. Please stay tuned and keep watching. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh.